Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this FS25 equipment video. As my videos about the equipment list on my German channel are very popular, I thought why not do them on my English channel as well. The official equipment list here you can see it is provided by giants on top of the fact sheets and contains much more vehicles and appliances than the fact sheets here for example you can click on the brand and then you see what is uh, included but as it is quite cumbersome to click through all the brands, I made a slideshow with all the equipments. Like so. Yeah, and there will be equipment videos every day till the release of FS25. And now we have a very full week because we are four weeks late. And then the following week will be... Uh, less equipment each day because then we have uh, caught up. So let's start. This is a water barrel from the manufacturer RB and the type is 1600. The capacity is uh, 6050 6, liters. And here we have a weight by ECO. And it's the type uh, 1100 and it's 1100 kilograms. And now we have the 1500 a weight as well and the 2300 a weight. And now only 650, so a small weight. And also by Echo is this Echo White. A tractor in the 8010 series, an old vintage tractor, and the power is between 160 and 225 horsepower, and the speed is 40 kilometers per hour. So this is a new one. All the other ones until now have been already uh, there in FS22. So we see a lot of good old friends and some new equipments. And as there are more good old friends, I only tell you if they are new. And sometimes I might even miss it, but usually uh, I know whether it's new or not. So here, this is new too from AgriFac, the Condor Endurance, a big sprayer. And from now on, I won't read all the numbers because uh, I get a knot in the tongue. I only read the important ones, which is the working width. In, in this case, it's uh, 36 up to 54 meters and the capacity is 8,000 liters. And AgriFac also, this is also new, a beet harvester, it's called Light Tracks, and the capacity is 18,500. That was missing in the fact sheets that we got on Friday. So the capacity information. Yeah, and here we have another sprayer by Agrio. It's a Dino 2, and we had it already in the premium uh, edition of FS25. Uh, this is smaller, the working width is just 27 up to 36 meters, and the capacity 6,600 liters. And here by AgriSam, a subsoiler, a very small one, Disco Vigne. V and it has a working width of 1.5 meters. And here we have a plow by Agromas, the POF 5XL, and it has a working width of 2.5 meters. And now from Albert, uh, a bale handler, 
and it belongs to the front loader tools. So we have a lot of those thingies um, and they come in variations for front loaders or for wheel loaders or telehandlers and uh, compact loaders. And this is a series about front loader tools from Albert. And the bale king, the bale spike, the fork with grapple, and the capacity is uh, 1,250 liters. A lock fork, a manure fork with a capacity of 1,000 liters, and a pellet fork. So those are all things that you attach to the front loader of your tractor, if your tractor has a front loader. And a round bale fork. And this is a silage cutter with a capacity of 850 liters. And a silage fork. And it has a capacity of 8,000 liter. But that is not for front loaders, but for wheel loaders. And they are usually much bigger and they are specialized for working in this uh, front loader department and therefore they can handle bigger capacities. And also a wheel loader tool is the Site Pro. I think this is a um, lock, uh, lock transporting um, appliance. And a universal bucket, again for front loader with 1000 liter. This is pretty much the basic thing beside the pellet uh, fork that you use on your front loader. And now we have Amazon. It's the Senio 4000 Super. It's a, just a cultivator with four meters working width. So a rather basic cultivator. And Amazon again, it's a big seeder, the Cetan 15001 minus C. And it has a working width of 15 meters and the capacity is 7,800 liters. Yeah, quite big. And now here is Amity Tech and we have a new um, new beet harvester. This is a trailed one. You need quite a strong tractor that needs 280 horsepower. This tractor, it's the tw uh, 2720 harvester scrub. This machine, and the impressive working width of six meter four is very very large and therefore you need this big tractor and the capacity for the beads is only 6500 so it has a very good working width but a small capacity and so you always need uh, an auger wagon at hand to unload the beads that you collect and here we have the uh, defoliator the uh, 3750 defoliator and you need to use this before the beet harvest that cuts the greenery of the beets and the required power is 215 horsepower and the working width is a little bit less than with the um, with the other one with the uh, harvester so it might be a good idea to work separately with them. And now we are at the Anderson Group. This is a round baler, the bio baler WB55, and you need 200 horsepower to work with it. And this is a bumper by Anderson Group, and yeah, just a bumper. And here we have a bale wrapper by Anderson Group, the Hybrid X Extractor. And you only need 20 horsepower and the speed is, oh no, it has 20 horsepower. I think it 
works by itself and the speed is five kilometers per hour. So this is a special, um, special bale wrapper. And also by Anderson Group, we have the Merch Pro 915. It's a wind rower and you need 140 horsepower and the working width is 9.2 meters. And that's it for this first video. Tomorrow we will go on uh, with the next brand in the alphabet and work ourselves through all the uh, nearly 200 ve vehicles and appliances we have in this um, until now. And then when this week is done, it will be not the next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after it, we will start the next round with new um, new equipment and that will be shorter videos then. Okay, so I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.